Hello and welcome you all. Today in this video we will be doing questions based on elementary transformation. So before starting with our question, first we will study some important properties in various operations of matrices. Our first property is that when AB equal to BA equal to I. So from here if AB is equal to I then B is equal to A inverse and if BA is equal to I then A is equal to B inverse. Our second property is the product of A and A inverse will always be equal to I. So from here it can also be written as a inverse dot i equal to a inverse. Now third property is that a b whole inverse is equal to b inverse a inverse. And now let us see its proof also since as we know that a dot a inverse equal to i. So using it I can write a b into a b whole inverse equal to i. Now when we multiply a inverse both side we get a inverse into a b into a b whole inverse equal to a inverse i. And as we know that a dot a inverse equal to i. So from here we get b and in bracket a b whole inverse which is equal to a inverse. Now again we will multiply b inverse both side. So we get b inverse dot b in bracket a b whole inverse which is equal to b inverse a inverse. Now since we know that b inverse b is equal to i. So from here we get a b whole inverse is equal to b inverse a inverse. Now our fourth property is a transpose whole inverse can also be written as a inverse whole transpose. Our fifth property is the product of a b c whole inverse is equal to C inverse, B inverse, A inverse. Now our first question for today is find the inverse of a matrix A which is equal to 1, 3, 2, 7 using elementary row transformation. So in row transformation as I have already told you that first we write A is equal to IA. And now watch and listen very carefully student. See the arrow which I have mentioned in matrix A which is in anti-clockwise direction. So this is the procedure or steps that we perform by applying row operations to make it identity matrix. And now since A is equal to IA, so write down A matrix which is 1, 3, 2, 7 in LHS and this is equal to identity matrix which is 1, 0, 0, 1 dot A. So whatever the operation we apply, it gets reflected in both sides of our matrix. And now take A11 element of A matrix. It is already 1. So skip this element and come to A21 which is equal to 2. And now make it 0 by applying row operation. So here as you can see I have applied R2 tends to R2 minus twice of R1. So by applying this operation which is R2 tends to R2 minus twice of R1. Our row 1 elements get unaffected in both sides of matrix. So first write them as it is which is 1 3 1 0. And now take A to 1 element which is 2 minus 2 into first element of row 1 which is 1. So 2 minus 2 is 0. Now A to 1 element will be equal to 0. And now take A to 2 element which is 7. So 7 minus 2 into second element of row 1 which is 3. So 3 into 2 is 6. So 7 minus 6 is 1 and then this is equal to 0 minus 2 into 1. So 0 into minus 2 is minus 2 and then 1 minus 2 into 0 0. So we get 1 and now as you can see that a to 2 element becomes 1 automatically. So we will skip the step and come to a 1 to element which is 3 and make this a 1 to element equal to 0. So again we will apply the row operation. So from here r1 tends to R1 minus 3 R2. Now here whatever the changes occur it get affect the elements of first row of both sides of matrix. And now take A12 element which is 3. So 3 minus 3 into R2 which is 1. So 3 into 1 is 3. So 3 minus 3 is 0. And this is equal to 1 minus 3 into minus 2 which is plus 6. So 6 plus 1 is 7. And A12 element of RHS matrix which is 0. So 0 minus 3 into 1. So we get minus 3. So as you can see student that left hand side matrix will become identity now and this identity matrix will be equal to 7 minus 3 minus 2 1 into A. So from here we can say that A inverse is equal to 7 minus 3 minus 2 1. So to verify our result we can also check it by applying the properties which is A dot A inverse. When we multiply our A matrix with this A inverse matrix and if this will be equal to I then our A inverse matrix is correct. Now practice this question mentioned on your screen that using the elementary row transformation find the inverse of matrix A which is 2, 5, 1, 3. And now come to second question which is find the inverse of matrix A which is equal to 6 minus 3 minus 2, 1 by column operation. Now in column operation first we will write A is equal to AI. So write the A matrix in LHS which is 6 minus 3 minus 2, 1. And this is equal to A into identity matrix so 1, 0, 0, 1. And now see the arrows which I have mentioned in matrix A in column operation which are in clockwise direction. So this is the procedure or steps we will perform by applying column operation to make it identity matrix. Now our first element of A matrix which is A11 equal to 6. Now we have to make this 6 equal to 1. So 
when we apply c1 tends to c1 plus twice of c2 what we get student first element of column one is six so six plus two into minus three which is minus six so six minus six is zero and then minus two plus two into one so minus two plus two is again equal to zero so from here student one of the most important point that if all the elements of rows or column become zero then inverse does not exist as you can see here that all the elements of column c1 will be equal to zero so here also inverse does not exist <laughs>